Hi, NG on init or NG on changes. Which lifecycle hook gets called first? This is the question which I see people always struggling with. So in this video, I'm going to clarify that. So what I have done is that here I have created in an Angular application one product component and one app component. And as you see here that I'm using product component inside the app component. Great. Now let's go to product component, which is the child component of app component and implement ng on init and ng on changes lifecycle hooks on init on changes and here first put constructor and in constructor we'll say that console.log and call it constructor then implement ng on init and here we say that okay console.log and then call it again ng on init and then we are going to implement ng on changes as well and i'll just say that console.log ng on changes All right, so what I have done here, here I have one component called product component and in the product component I'm implementing on init and on changes lifecycle hooks and it has constructor ng on init and ng on changes implemented. Right now if you uh, notice on this component it doesn't have any properties, any input decorated properties and this component is used in app component right here. Okay, so let us go ahead and see the output. Now, if I see output here and press F12, in the console, you can see that Angular is first uh, running constructor and then it is running ng on init. It is even not running ng on changes. So message here is that even if you have implemented ng on changes lifecycle hook on a component, and if that component does not have data coming from outside that component, from the parent component, ng on changes would even not get executed or called. As you see here, only constructor and ng on init are getting called. Now let's go ahead and in the component add a property. Let's say that I call it count and the initially count value is 99. And initially maybe count has nothing it's just a number all right and we are expecting to pass value in this count from the parent component so we use input decorated property here now you see that i have declared a variable count and it is decorated with input property however i'm not passing any value to this count property of product yet and now let us see the output I make sure that I saved it here. In the output, still you see that here it says that constructor and ng on init. So this is your message number two. Learning number two is that even if you have input decorated property created inside the child component, but if you are not passing data to that property, ng on changes lifecycle hook would not get called. Now let's go ahead and pass some data to that. So we'll say that count and here in the count, I. I have taken one count here that is 89 and then pass that count value here and in product component.ts now let's go ahead and see that whether uh, it's calling ng on changes or not now you see that constructor is called and ng on changes is called and then ng on init is called so when you pass data to input decorated property, what Angular does, it first calls ng on changes and then after it calls ng on init. So please remove it from your mind that ng on init gets called first always. No, for a component, first constructor gets called, then ng on init gets called if there is no input decorated properties which data is being set. If you are setting data of input decorated property, then first constructor would be called and then ng on changes and then ng on init. So I hope you'll never forget it. One last thing you may notice here is that I'm passing data to this count component, but still I'm not using it on the HTML. I'm not using it in the template. So that doesn't matter whether you are using it or not using it. As soon as you pass data, ng on changes lifecycle hook comes to the action. So remember, 
if you do not have any input decorated property engine changes would never get executed if you have input decorated property created inside the component but you are not passing data to that engine changes would not get executed now if you have a input decorated property and you are passing data to that then ng on changes would be called before ng on init regardless whether you are using that property on template or not i hope you like this video see you in the next video my name is dhananjay kumar thank you for watching this